Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at key features of prisms and pyramids. So let's talk about prisms first. This is a 3D figure that has two base faces that are parallel and congruent. And the other non-base faces are rectangles and the height of the prism is the distance between the bases. So here are the two prisms that we're going to be looking at. As you can see, they have parallel base faces and the other sides that are not the bases are rectangular. And then the height is the distance between those bases. Then we're also going to look at pyramids. Pyramids only have one base face and then triangular faces that meet a point, meet at a point or an apex. The height of the pyramid is the distance from the center of the base to the apex. So we're going to look at rectangular pyramids and triangular pyramids. As you can see, they have that base and then they meet at a point. And the sides that meet at the point are triangular. So let's take a closer look at each of these shapes. We are going to shade the base and label the height. So here's our prism with its six rectangular faces where the opposite faces are parallel and congruent. So rectangular prisms are special because they have multiple sets of opposite faces that are parallel and congruent, which means that any of the opposite or parallel sides could be the base. You just have to decide which you are going to use as the base. So we're gonna practice shading the base and then labeling the height, which is the distance that connects the bases. So this distance right here would be the height because that connects our bases. Okay, you could also use the face that it's sitting on and then the top one as the base because those are opposite and parallel and congruent. And then that would make this the height because that's the distance between the two bases. And then on this last one right here, I'll do the same thing. I'll use the bottom and the top as the bases, which is going to make this distance right here the height. And if you cannot tell, all of the bases that I shaded are rectangles. Okay, our next shape is a triangular prism. This is different than a rectangular prism because our bases are triangles. A triangular has two parallel congruent triangular bases that's joined by three rectangles. So unlike in a rectangular prism, you cannot use any of the sides as the bases. You have to use the triangle because those are the only two congruent parallel bases. So in this shape right here, I'm shading the triangular bases, which makes this distance the height since it's connecting the triangles. In this one right here, this distance is, or sorry, these faces are the bases since they're the triangles that are parallel and congruent. And then that would make this distance from one triangle to the other, the height. And then last one is similar. Here are my bases. For some reason on this particular one, I have a lot of people who like to try and shade that as the base. That is not the base because there's not another parallel face from it. The bases are the triangles. And then the height is the distance that connects them. So the shape of the base is a triangle. If you could not tell, prisms and pyramids are named after the shape of their bases. So next we have a rectangular pyramid, which means the base is going to be a rectangle. It has a rectangular base and then four triangular sides that meet at a point. So let's shade the base, which is a rectangle. And then this distance right here is the height, since that goes from the base to the point. This one is upside down my bases at the top here since that's the rectangle and then the height is right here. It goes from the center to the top. And then this last one, my base is the rectangle and then it goes from the center of the base to the top. That's the height. Okay, then the last shape we're going to look at is a triangular pyramid. This time we have a triangular base and then three triangle faces that meet at a point. So our base is the one that's below the point and then the height connects the base to the point. So there's our triangular base 
and then the height connects the base to the point. Again, here's our triangular base. And the base meets the point from the height. And the shape of the base that I shaded was a triangle. Okay, so now we're gonna practice identifying the shapes below. We're gonna name them, we're gonna shade the base and circle the height and then label the shape of the base and the height. So let's start with this first one right here. I am meeting at a point at the top so I know it's a pyramid and my base is a rectangle. So this is a rectangular pyramid. And it's called a rectangular pyramid because my base was a rectangle. And the height is 10 since that's the distance from the base to the point. Okay, let's look at this next one. I have these two parallel triangular faces and I have rectangular sides. So this is going to be a triangular prism. It's a prism since I have the two parallel bases and those bases that I shaded are triangles. And then the height is the distance from base to base. So the height here is 17. Okay, this next one, I have all rectangular faces. So this is a rectangular prism. Rectangular prisms are special because you can use any of the opposite faces as the bases. On this one, I'm going to use the bottom and the top as my bases, which are rectangles. And then the height is going to connect those rectangular bases. So I'm going to use 15 as the height since I'm using the top and the bottom as the base. Okay, this one, I have a point, so I know it's a pyramid, and my base of this pyramid is a triangle. So this is a triangular prism, sorry, triangular pyramid. Since it has the triangular base and it meets at a point, base is a triangle. And then the height is the distance from the center of the base to the point, so it is 11. Okay, this one, I have rectangular faces and I have two parallel base faces, so I know it's a prism. And since my bases are triangles, this is going to be a triangular prism. where my bases are triangles. And then the height is the distance from one base to the other base. It is not necessarily from the top to the bottom. So the height here is 28 since that's the distance from one base to the other. Okay, then last one I have a point. So I know this is a pyramid and the base of the pyramid is a rectangle. So this is a rectangular pyramid. Where the base is a rectangle. And then the height is the distance from the base to the tip, so it is 8. Yeah. 